Hey listener, this is Clyde J. Kale. My sincere apologies for this episode. The audio quality is not up to par. The internet has not been kind to us. Please sit back and try to enjoy this episode of the Irish Friends Podcast. Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I am an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie, and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde JKL. I'm the host of this podcast. I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, botanicals, birds, and whatnot. With a tight illustrated pan and watercolor, pen and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. Well, here it is. It's Monday, May the 25th. This is Clyde J. Kale, and you're listening to the Artist Friends Podcast, and this is episode 47. I am here with Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson, my two favorite artists. Hello, Diane. Hello, Constance. Hi, Clyde. Hi, everyone. Happy Happy Memorial Day yes, in the U.S. <laughs> Day. That's right, in the United States. Yep. Hello, Constance. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Dan. Hello, everybody. All right. And welcome to you listeners. Okay. The theme for this week is, I don't know what prompted me to come up with this, uh, ladies, but um, the ideal, you know, we're putting ourselves out there on the internet, on social media, and on YouTube and other places, and there are haters there are just real nasty people that put nasty comments up and I've never gotten any real negative comments uh, with our podcast series. I've gotten a couple comments of when we first started the quality of the audio, you know, wasn't that great. And they said, if the quality of the audio would be better, I would listen more often, but otherwise forget it. Oh, okay. (laughs) That's not really a hater comment. That's more of a technical thing. But uh, so uh, the recommended videos, and for our listeners who want to uh, see the videos that we're talking about, go to www.talkartpodcast.com. That's talkartpodcast.com. And you can see the videos listed there for this week's discussion. They're from uh, the guy who's called Rafi. And these little short 10-minute, uh, 15-minute videos. And he gives some recommendations on uh, how to deal with with the uh, haters and the negativity that will either come at you when you're in an art show. And I think Constance has some comments to make about that. Tell us about your, uh, some of your experiences at art shows. Well, I've done, I used to do a fair at every weekend when I lived in Pensacola. And um, then when I moved up here, I've done several shows and I did shows while I was down there too, but some people, sometimes when they walk up and come in your booth, they um, they act like you're not there, and they start talking to whoever's with them. And um, 
they can they use sometimes they'll say negative stuff a lot of times it's always nice but so and then uh i've done art shows and people come in and they like a lot of people like it but then every once in a while you have people that come in and just it's like Raffi said, so if they've got somebody with them, they're trying to impress them or something, and they just say negative things about. Yep. So, yeah. They're, they've, every show you have at least one or two people that come in the booth that just kind of bum you out. <laughs> but you have to ignore them because. Absolutely. You know, there's always other people who come in, and they just love your stuff, you know. And it's like, well, like Raffi, you know, his recommendations is this will – enhance and uh, build the negativity you already have in your head the doubt yeah. that you already have and all it does if you let it. <laughs> right if you let it diane you got any, any negativity stories or any encounters social media or otherwise or um I've, I've had a couple people but not not really horrible but i had ran an ad one time on facebook I think it was even a boost post and you know, you don't have like, you know, you don't know exactly who they're sending the stuff to. You just put in parameters on, and then I got this one nasty comment of this, from this guy and he was effing this and effing that. And oh, no. I'm like, you know, like I, <laughs> because I had an ad on his page or whatever, you know, it had come up like, you know, the ads come up on the side. Mm -hmm. You don't have any control over that. <laughs> it's like, Mm -hmm. He doesn't, obviously doesn't know how Facebook works, but it was just like he just went off on on in the comment on my page about why I'm advertising to him. And, yeah. you know, he's, he was like, "Okay, I guess he's having a bad day." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish him well. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's a, that is the exact attitude. Gary Vanchuk talks about this too. You know, I almost was going to select <laughs> one of his uh, 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 videos when he says, "You know, don't listen to the negativity that's around you from either either friends or relatives or." don't let them stop you so and he says turn it around and wish them well and have mm -hmm. you know? them with kindness <laughs> exactly because <laughs> whenever i uh, when i first started i set up an artist page you know my uh you know cjkl artworks you know uh, facebook artist page separate from my personal page and of course it gives the option where you can let people make comments or, or rates and there for a while, since I wasn't sh still getting familiar with Facebook and I wasn't sure, you know, I was putting some, some of my art up there and I was putting mostly, I started, I started it with my radio station first. Okay. But then I wanted to add, you know, so I'd add positive little, little blurbs, you know, of uh, positive memes, you know, and, and things like every time I'd find something like that, I would, I would put it up. I had one guy who came on there and gave me a one star and said, this is horrible. All you're doing is putting these memes up. I'm out of here. Well, <laughs> I disabled that. Because <laughs> I said, yeah, God, that's one way to deal with it. You know, I don't want, you know. Well, then mm -hmm. as a result, I had one of my uh, local collectors, well, a couple of my local collectors says, Clyde, we want to give you a good rating, but they won't let us rate you. So I told him what happened. I said, well, it's up to you. So I opened it up again so I could get some, you know, good ratings, you know, and his, mm -hmm. his negative rating is still there, but it's at the bottom. But, you know, <laughs> it's. Well, that's, that's the thing, though. You, everybody, you can't make everybody happy. So you're going right. to get negative stuff sometimes, and that's just the way it is. I mean, that's true of anything, but mm -hmm. you can't take it to heart and you can't let it bother you that much like you yes. just have to kind of let it roll I've, off your back and keep going i've actually yeah. it's interesting. with my art i okay i had developed a, a really hard shell you know way of dealing with uh negativity with regards to my internet radio station because you know i have millions of listeners around the world and i get predominantly when i do receive emails it's interesting they're quiet the only time they really contact me is when they can't listen which which is thrill thrills to me because that means that they have value they value the station if they can't listen to it they let me know that's how i know instantly when the server goes down because i get yeah. all kinds of emails yeah let well, me know good. so uh, that's good but 
it'd be nice to, you know, and I get some positive comments, some very nice emails from people, and I, I won't go into details, but some really, really nice emails, which is why there's been many times I have thought about uh, stopping the station, but these people have kept me going. But what few negative ones I get, and, and I've received, you know, some of those, but would be something like one guy kept complaining that how come my station, the volume of it was lower than others that he listened to. And so, I mean, I got like four emails from him back to back in like a two week period. I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? So I very polite to him. You know, I did, I, I ignored his first couple of ones. I figured, well, he'll figure out how to adjust it, whatever he's using to listen. He'll figure out how to adjust it. Well, no, he didn't. So then I start corresponding with him. I said, okay, what, what are you using to listen? Are you using a computer? Are you using an internet radio device or, you know, what? So he told me, and I said, and it was his uh, iTunes uh, software on his computer. And I said, go, go into iTunes, and I explained to him how he can adjust the gain you know, in there. I said, you know, you may have to up your gain a little bit, or it depends on what kind of setting yeah, you know, if you're using the default settings or, and I explained to him what I broadcast at the DB level, you know, and everything. I try to, to have the same, you know, gain across it. And as it turns out, I was, you know, very, you know, very polite, direct, you know, my emails. And, and I said, try this out and let me know. The following email was he had fixed the problem and he sent me a $50 donation. Well, that's good. Now, had I just completely ignored that guy, number one, I wouldn't have, you know, I would have lost a listener. Number two, I wouldn't have gained a donation to support the station, you know. So yeah. it does, you know, uh, address these issues, you know. If these people and, hey, some people are just absolute haters. Um, so, yeah, it's like, you know, Rafi states, you know, just don't allow this. this you've got to put your art out there. You've got to develop a bit of a thick skin and just don't let it uh, affect the, don't let these negative nasty people increase your own doubt and negativity that you may have already. And all of us do, especially as artists, you know, we're just kind of sensitive about our art. You know, don't, uh, don't let it, uh, you know, increase and everything. So let's segue to our last few minutes here. And the thing I wanted to talk about was for our listeners, you know, as artists and the majority, I would say about maybe 95% of the working professional artists out there in the world, we are independent entrepreneurs, businesses. We're not even small business. We're what I call micro businesses. I mean, we, we just barely make money to, to uh, buy the supplies so we can continue. Unlike other small businesses, of course, we don't qualify for, you know, grant or loans from the government. There is some grants that we can apply for, but there's so many thousands of our supply chances of getting one is, is very slim, but they are available for us. Unlike also other businesses, if we don't receive money, we still make the art. We figure out a way. We might even starve ourselves so we can create art. So we're going to continue making art. We just may not make it available for sale. So my request to our listeners is support your artists, support the art, support these. Just, they are not only are they small, but they are micro businesses. You know, that is a, a, a really small category. And in that we are going to part of this part, podcast it is so we can, you, if you've been a long time listener, we're up to 47 episodes now. You've got an opportunity to uh, hear the uh, personalities of Constance, Diane, and me, Clyde, J. Kale. And uh, I don't know if you've liked us or not, but you've got an opportunity to see our art because we've each had a studio visit here and we are put our, our, uh, some of our art out there and we're going to give you another opportunity. So Constance, your uh you got what's your website so people can go look at your jewelry or whatever you want to want to want to promote um my site is on etsy now say so it. The, okay hold it, on etsy say it real slow and, and okay 
<laughs> All right. And the web address for it is um, itsy.com forward slash shop forward slash C-B-R-O-S-N-A-N-S. Okay. Say and it again. That's it. Say it again. Just so people uh, catch it real slow. <laughs> itsy.com forward slash shop forward slash C B R O S N A N S. Okay, and you have your jewelry up there, and you have some of your uh, paintings up there too, right? Mm -hmm. I do. I have. Um, and people can the jewelry is originals, and the paintings they can order prints or the originals also, right? No, they're originals. Yeah, the originals are for sale. Okay, Diane, your website. The same way, say it real slow so that, you know our <laughs> listeners can catch it. My website is www.diane, it's D-I-A-N-E, Hunt, H-U-N-T, Studio, S-T-U-D-I-O, dot com. All right. And I have paintings, and there's um, a connection to my, uh, to Fine Art America, where they have um, prints and other uh, items that you can put your art onto. Okay. So it's all there on the same site. And everything's up there for sale, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> on both sides. Okay. And my site is www.cjklartworks.com. That's C-J-K-E-L-L Art, A-R-T, Works, W-O-R-K-E-S, K-S.com cjkartworks.com and that's actually a it's a pixel site connected with the fine art america so you can order the prints and i for the originals i request that you send me an email and i'll give you a quote on on the originals if you see something on it and not all of the of the originals are available because uh quite a bit of my art is my daughter's scarf it up <laughs> It's all, all already in private collector's hands, you know, but that's why I always ask for a uh, email inquiry if there's something you want to buy as original, but also prints and it's on apparel and I'm across, uh, if you just go to Google and you type in Clyde J. Kell artists and you will see all my other sites. I'm on a redbubble.com site. That's uh, CJ Kell dot redbubble.com i think i'm on a society six site i'm on an art pal site if you do that google they're all they all come up so you can um, you know check out my art and it's all on apparel products and prints and oh i mean i'm even putting on mask uh, face mask <laughs> my art's on face mask now <laughs> that's across multiple sites and the prices are all very very reasonable just, um, but if you see something original as a collector, please send me an email, cjkl, at sign, the word mystery, hyphen, otr com. All right. That is going to wrap this up. And along with uh, providing uh, discussion for, we have our artist listeners. And we have regular collectors that are listening to this podcast. And just people that are interested in art. So please, support support an artist. Support us. Okay? We got art for sale. We got to buy some paint. Got to buy some canvases, you know? <laughs> I'm on Patreon also. <laughs> That's right. I am too. I, yeah, is, there's so many different little, little things. We, we, ha we have multiple gigs. We have to have multiple, what they call multiple streams, you know, coming in. And the, the thing about this, the, with the COVID virus, it has locked down quite a bit of those streams. You know, it really, really put a crunch on all of us, especially yeah. the artist community. It has really, because uh, we are. Those have been canceled and galleries are closed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> Pretty much everything available online, now, not in person anymore. So. Right. It's just, you know, it's shut down. And uh, it's been proven. Online, you can purchase art online. It has worked. There are artists that are being successful, and there are organizations that are very, very good at the shipping and everything, and it's, it's very trustworthy. But um, 
So uh, yes, please, if you are interested in some art, then uh, support uh, support these micro businesses because that's what we are. We're all micro businesses. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, episode 47 for May the 25th of the Artist Friends podcast. And I'm going to say goodbye to Diane and Constance, and I'll let those two say say goodbye to you. Bye, everyone. Bye, Clyde. Bye, Constance. Good night, everybody. Bye, Clyde. Good night, Diane. Good night, everybody, and buy some art. Bye-bye. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www.dianehuntstudio.com. Constance Bronson at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash c b r o s n a n s clyde j kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com if you would like to participate or appear as a guest on the artist friends podcast please email cjkale at sign mystery dash otr.com if you enjoy these podcasts, please give us a thumbs up or star rating. And most of all, send us your comments. This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license.